So the this, this site started as the repair shop for the Central Pacific Railroad, and that was in 1863. And the property was given to the railroad from the city with the condition that it be developed as an industrial site, and that meant filling it. So this was all sort of wetlands and swamps when it first started. So it started the Central Pacific, and it was the uh, western terminus of the Transcontinental Railroad. And from there, the, the uh, Central Pacific then became the Southern Pacific, and the Southern Pacific had up the uh, property for 100 plus years. When the, um, all the environmental laws came to pass in the late 70s, early 80s, and they started looking around for these things, what they found here was that there had been waste generated and waste disposed of, and that sort of triggered these laws. We got to the point of deciding what we had to do to clean up the property, and that included um, demolishing most of the remaining buildings that were out here. The site's now ready for redevelopment. So what's happened is the, actually the mainline tracks have been relocated. So now they're just south of the central shops buildings where previously they were on the south end of the property. Um, the infrastructure's gone through. So extensions to 5th Street, 6th Street, 7th Street are in and up other streets on the north side of the property have been put in. It's always seen that, that this is the largest infill project in the country. It represents 240 acres, which basically doubled the business district of downtown Sacramento. Actually, this was the largest single environmental project that Union Pacific's ever had. Getting a site that was in, in basically that kind of condition, now to a point where it's going to be a major redevelopment, um, and sort of marrying the two of redevelopment and, and uh, remediation is a huge success for us.